blah, blah, blah. 136. Hello, Hello and everybody. welcome. Howdy. Guys, huge news. Today, I was in the middle of carrying my League of Legends game, and I was about to close it out, and my brawless wife brought me a sandwich. Ooh. Not asked for, by the way, with chips, as I get a double kill bot lane. So how is your day going? Damn, very nice. Was that a ninja tweet? No, oh, that was, uh, was a Tom Blevins mm, tweet. Tom Blevins. Oh, Tom Blevins. Yeah. Okay. Tomler. Tom, 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 Tom Blevins. Blevins. Yeah, the fourth brother. The cool one. Are you and Bearded Blevins big, each other's big brothers? Uh, well, actually, Bearded Blevins has me blocked on Twitter, so no, we are not each other. That's fucked up. I uh, sent him Goatsy and he Blevins. didn't block me. I made fun of his porn addiction and he blocked me instantly. <laughs> I also I also quote tweeted the picture of him and Ninja and Tim the Tap Man and said, imagine how awesome it would be to have all these guys standing around you jacking off onto your face. <laughs> And I was hoping that would get me a block from at least one of them. Like, I'm sure Ninja is, he's too famous to really check his feed, but Bearded Blevins has like 3,000 followers. Bearded checks his feed, but Ninja doesn't. He might have just muted me the first time. So. Ninja, Ninja retweeted me when I made um, him in uh, Animal Crossing, and I put him in the crazy frog dress that had a oh, penis yeah. on it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Damn, that was a good way to her to get muted, because he saw that he's like, okay. And that's Maybe you cool. are his brother. <laughs> That's not yeah, very cool, man. He liked it. He liked it. He retweeted it. If you've been <laughs> retweeted by Tom, you are his brother. That's sure. it. Absolutely. You are my big brother. I'm your big brother. That includes the werewolf guy who wants to eat women. That includes all the wet saggers. That includes uh, that Josh werewolf Gad. guy. That guy's scary. He's so cool, man. Women hate was, that guy. Women hate that wolf. I was going through, like, <sighs> I, there, I, I might need to send you guys some of these penises. <laughs> <laughs> these guys post because they're so funny. Uh, but I was going to start a Discord like, for just nasty penises with DB. I think that'd be fun. Honestly, that's what happened. DB, that's the only time DB and I text each other. Me too. It's just like <laughs> the only time I ever talk to DB, I'm seeing another man's penis, not mine yeah, or his. Exactly. We'll, we'll just, I'll just be. This is my like, straight friend. I send gay porn back actually, and forth. Let me too. correct myself. I do on Fridays. I'll remind him like, hey, we're gonna play. We're gonna play some Fortnite soon. I'll, yeah, just, I'll just. But it's te usually like, mess some Fortnite. He texts me back a penis. We'll go like two weeks without talking, and then he'll just send me. It's like this old guy's nasty penis. And I found some really good ones last night. But I actually remember finding that werewolf guy like months ago and just th imagine, like, just laughing at him wearing that weird looking mask at his computer, just taking pictures and be like, I will eat you. I can eat you out. I'll lick you up wearing it. <laughs> it's eat, so cool. Eat you for hours. Women like that. Yeah. Those women who are definitely real, by the way, that he's replying to, yep. <laughs> like that. Yeah, Linda zero zero one seven nine three five. I hot moms three. <laughs> I hot <laughs> moms. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's clearly an Indian guy just compiling. It's like pictures of different women. Yeah, every time. Like a picture from of two thousand three Pam Anderson, and then a picture of like uh, Sydney Sweeney now, and they think this is an actual woman I'm talking to. Yeah, I'm a throwback jacker. I jack off like Cindy Crawford ads and shit. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> I just I just looked for Pam Anderson's OnlyFans, but it doesn't exist, sadly. Oh, damn. This fucked I'm up. Sorry. Tommy Lee does have one. You respect does her. He? Yeah. Yeah. It's just his sex tape from the VHS on there. Just kidding. <laughs> he should have done that, but he, I yeah. think he posted one picture with his dick out. He posted on Twitter. So. Oh, yeah. I remember him posting on Twitter. I guess I didn't Yeah, realize. so he has an OnlyFans, and like I, I think I looked at it, and it said one post. Oh. Imagine if Iggy Pop had one. I mean, Tommy Lee's penis probably also looks like one of those bigger Slim Jims, like the Mega Slim Jims. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah, it's jerkified. Imagine that's what Iggy Pop's OnlyFans would look like, or the base, it would look like that sausage skin. But yeah, I guess like... jerking my jerky. Mm. I guess for him, and for some, because like, you know, musicians have like Patreons where they'll like release shit on there and yeah. like just sort of keep it like, oh, you yeah, know, here's some new stuff that I've just been working on. But I guess with like OnlyFans, you can do that. Plus just like show a picture of your penis yeah well you don't have to do anything if you're a celebrity that's the thing i guess that's true like you can't like people can cancel the only fans if you if you're not actually posting anything but a lot of people will forget or they'll just figure like oh it's tommy lee i like tommy lee i don't care that he's yeah. only posted one thing or you're same with um, the artist what's your the catch yeah, me it's, outside it's like girl. the melanie mack guys going to that subscribe star thing that's just nothing <laughs> yeah Mac, it doesn't even post on it yeah you, you're always going to get a few people it's not going to be a lot, and you also, people aren't going to say, I got ripped off by this OnlyFans. No one wants mm -hmm. to be the person saying that, like, oh, I subscribe to the Cash Me Outside Girls OnlyFans, and it was only bikini pictures. Like, guy who's going to go around saying that? The guy that's mad because she's 18. 
Hey, I thought she was 15 still. Hey, wait a minute. Hey, you ripped me off. I tried to scroll back three years ago. What the heck? If they won't even be nude, and it's like, what are people going to do? Yeah, oh. well, they complain. I think you can, like... They can't complain. They're losers. That reminds me of, like, of the thing we always talk about, like, the Miley Cyrus age countdown and the Olsen uh, twins countdown. So foul. Evil shit, man. Well, evil Miley Cyrus shit. kind of vindicated those guys because she did turn 18 and just go wild. Oh, she turned 18, though? Whoa. <laughs> but also, Wait, like... That was, that was the one time where she actually did, like, immediately just did, did a, a shoot with Terry Richardson. Me, me missing the point? Nah, but now she betrayed all those guys because she's done touring. <laughs> <laughs> like they're like fans. So who, I just wish so you I would do she Hannah Montana line. again. <laughs> yeah. Hey, do you know what they are making again? That's really scary, and it looks like a joke. Zoe 102. Jamie Lynn Spears is back. Are you that serious? Bitch. I'm dead I serious. Thought, Google it though and look at it. It looks fucking fake. Zoe 102. I can't wait for Mind of Jason to love this shit. She treats Britney <laughs> like crap. Didn't they get in trouble because like on 101? Dan Schneider got her pregnant. That's why I had to end. Yeah. We don't know who it was, but it probably but was Dan probably Schneider. Probably was. Yeah, some some people have made allegations. Yeah, Dan Schneider. I guess he's like a Jamie looks older than Britney, though, doesn't she? Yeah, she. I mean, it looks creepy. Yeah, but what? So didn't what she is get it pregnant on? when she was like fourteen? One hundred two doesn't make. Okay, I guess it makes sense because it's like the second class. Okay, I get it now. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm like that's not a that's not an area code. Just kidding. Uh, <laughs> yeah, she had a kid at sixteen. Yeah, that's why I said it was literally, it was rumors all the time from those YouTubes about Dan Schneider about it being his kid. It's, mm -hmm. you can't, you know, it's No unfounded. way he has a working penis. No, I don't think so either, but... He has like a, he has a weird egg or something, like Harvey Weinstein. Hello, Ariana Grande, thank you for being on my show. Today, in today's episode, your feet will be in this scene, like, fucking so creepy how often he put girls' yeah. feet on shit. I mean, he was just evil. Like, yeah. most, everybody involved, I think, in like... Those also those. Shows. Well, you look at him and he just looks so trustworthy. I was about to say he looks like yeah. a Robbie. He looks like a pick rob type pedophile. Like. <laughs> yeah, he's got the pick rob uh, physiognomy. He does. He's I, like, I guess like it's so what, funny that what like was, pick rob just like that's his. That would be his idol. <laughs> what was that encyclopedia for Windows back in like ninety five? Encarta. In Car yeah. Oh as, yeah. Dan Schneider's like the Encarta picture for pedophile. That would be on, like the page. <laughs> You're like, yeah. oh, that's what they look like. That Man, or like geez. Andy Dick. <laughs> Yeah. Jimmy Dan, Seville. Dan Schneider looks like, um... Like Andy Dick would be, like, sex pest. Like, yeah, yeah, just a, pervert. Yeah, pervert. The definition of pervert. pervert. Dan Schneider pervert, looks like Andy one of the Dick. fat, mad TV guys playing a pedo on something. <laughs> <laughs> so Did I wanted to know how Artie Lang got fired from mad TV, by the way? I never knew this because I was too young to care at the time. I just knew he was, like, off the show. But he got fucking... They, they had to handcuff him to, like, a door frame because he was going ape shit on coke. They had to oh, arrest Jesus. him that way. Well, because they went through, like, several different casts. Like, they had their early stuff, and then, like, all those people got fired. Yeah. I remember. Then they had, like, two seasons later, it was, like, the ones you would think about, which was, like, Alex Borstein and then Stewart. I don't remember the guy's name. Uh, Michael McDonald. Yeah, yeah the other yeah. Michael McDonald. The other Michael McDonald. Mm -hmm. Man, that was a great cast, though. Holy fuck. Yeah. yeah, Mad TV was great watching that late at night. Mad TV is still great to go back and rewatch it. You know, one of my favorite sketches on any show ever was the lowered expectations bit with like yeah. the just the, the B roll footage of the big people holding hands walking next to like the wasteland looking city river <laughs> with like the <laughs> power plant behind them. Lowered expectations. It was like the dating segment. It was great. So I wanted to talk about one of the biggest draggings that I've ever seen on the internet. Okay. Do it. So our friend Van Buren 20. He's uh, oh, the ultimate man. World 1-1 veteran. He's the guy on YouTube. He always looks like he's been crying. He's got all the he Nintendo is. shit behind him. He's in his parents' house, which they died and he inherited. So he's still in his childhood <laughs> bedroom with all the Win. Mario posters. <laughs> Win. No longer taking care of mom. And he's also uh, an evangelical Christian, and he's homophobic, and he disowned mm -hmm. his daughter for being a lesbian. Mm -hmm. And he's, he's an apologist for Billy Mitchell, mm -hmm. the guy from King of Kong, the guy who's uh, allegedly... Allegedly. Some people cheated. have made allegations that he faked his Donkey Kong score, and that uh, actually the, the people who, who keep the Donkey Kong scores invalidated his score. 
and then he sued them. And there's this ongoing lawsuit between him and Twin Galaxies, which is the organization that keeps the scores. And this guy, Carl Jobst, has been following it. He's a huge YouTuber. He gets millions of views. And Billy Mitchell is sort of like a cash cow. You know where he him. lives near, right? Birwa. That's right. Birwa. Hell Birwa. on Earth. He's like Hell. Annihilator. Annihilator's neighbor. <laughs> Annihilator. neighbor. Annihilator. No, I think he's just from uh, the, the, the same state, though. So, uh... Billy Mitchell sued Carl Jobst also for talking about this. There's like, um, mm-hmm. it centers around a, a joystick that he used when he got his, his famous score at the Mortgage Brokers Conference. And the joystick on a Donkey Kong machine is supposed to be black. The top of it is supposed to be black. And if it's not black, it's not an official Donkey Kong machine. The reason for being black, by the way, is the black one. I mean, it's an original one, and it's an only four-way movement. The longer stick with the other color that was in the pictures of the machine he got his record on is the eight-way, which, if you've ever played Donkey Kong, if you have an eight-way stick, it would make the game insanely easy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So there was this picture that came out that Carl Jobst released like a, a year ago, I think, of Billy Mitchell standing in front of a machine at this mortgage broker's conference, and it has a red joystick on it which is a non-official joystick, and that's an eight-way joystick. Yeah. And so this guy, Van Buren 20, he's a huge Billy Mitchell stan, and he made this whole video saying, like, Carl Jobst is slandering Billy Mitchell, and he was all outraged about it, and, and you know, like, oh, I can't believe they would do this to this sweet, poor man. And uh, so he, he says that Billy Mitchell released those photos, Actually, that wasn't the machine he played on. He re- his lawyers released these photos themselves, and wow. this actually proves nothing, and that wasn't the machine he played on, and that's a different joystick, and it doesn't matter, and this is all fake. And he didn't realize that Carl Jobst has had access to Billy Mitchell's deposition in that lawsuit for like two years now. Mm-hmm. So when he <laughs> says... So he he knew already when he said that stuff before that Billy Mitchell admitted in a deposition, they showed him a picture of him at that convention, him standing in front of the machine, and uh, you you can't see the joystick because he's in front of it, but you can see the rest of the machine. They show it to him, and he says, yes, that's the machine. That's the exact machine that I played on. And they ask him a bunch of times before, so what... What are the buttons supposed to look like? What are the, what's the joystick supposed to look like? And he says under oath, the joystick is supposed to be black on top. If it wasn't a black one, I wouldn't have played it. I've never played a non-black joystick. And then they show him the picture of the red joystick, and he's like, well, I, uh, I remember it being black. <laughs> and he had clearly, and they ask him, have you ever seen photos of this? Have you ever, or do you have any photos of the mortgage brokers convention where you got this record? And he says, no, I don't have any photos. I've never seen photos of it. So then this, this VB20 guy was just saying like so com- uh, confidently that Billy Mitchell knew about those photos, that that wasn't the machine he played on, like the exact opposite of all this stuff that Billy Mitchell said himself in the deposition. God. And then, uh... Carl finally made the video where he talks about the deposition and he has the clips in it and it's brutal. It has 854,000 views, and VB20 is in it. He is featured in it. Uh, multiple clips of him bitching and complaining in his Mario room. And uh, if you go over to his channel, he has 17,000 views <laughs> on the video that's called Carl Job Slanders Billy Mitchell Again. It's got uh, 17,000 views, 61 likes. Uh, 2,316 <laughs> comments. <laughs> Positive comments? So many comments on a YouTube video. It's brutal. And I was the one who told him about that, by the way. I, I did something kind of evil, and I went into his Jackbox stream. It's mm-hmm. the, fu- the funniest thing to ruin a Jackbox stream when they give out the code. And <laughs> even if you're... like I, The first time I got into the audience, and there are some of the modes where the audience can put stuff on the screen... And I, uh, I joined, and I kept putting, like, VB20 sucks. VB20's kid hates him. His, his family hates him. His wife left him. He sucks. He's a, he's a loser. And it kept popping up on the screen, and he was like, uh, what's, I, I gotta hide this. And he accidentally hid his own answers in the game. <laughs> so you couldn't even see any of the stuff he put on. And then he, he was like, okay, I'm gonna do another one. And I joined as VB20 sucks, and I got into the game, and that was my username. And then he said... Okay, I'm not just, I, I guess I'm not going to do it anymore. I'm done. <laughs> and then he deleted that stream. Yeah, the stream's gone. That's so funny. And then I joined his Discord to ask, uh, what happened to the Jackbox stream? I wanted to watch the VOD. 
I wanted to clip it. I wanted to clip where I got him mad. And then I, uh, I saw that he posts, uh, he doesn't at everyone in his discord. Every time he posts a video and says like, please guys, I need your support. I need your support with this Carl Jopes slandering Billy Mitchell video. That's about to ruin my life. We should do that. Yeah, we should, we should at everyone. But, uh, so I, I went in his discord and I asked where the VOD was. And then I said, like, I was the person trolling. And then I added everyone just to make, just to be a dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> or no, no, I added Van Buren because I can't add everyone because I'm not a mod. Only he can add everyone. And then I saw his thing change from away to phone. And earlier he had said he had gone to bed. And I added, it, I added him and said, like, do you really at everyone every time you post a video? And it woke him up. And then I saw him, I saw his icon change. And then suddenly I was banned. And I said, the last thing I said was, oh, there's a new Carl Jobs video about you. And it has 800,000 views. <laughs> so I woke him up and I was the one that told him in his discord oh. <laughs> and then he stayed up all night and then he uh oh yeah I ruined his night and if you feel bad this guy he, he disowned yeah, his daughter his for being day. gay let's admit it yeah. mm -hmm. he loved it oh it I mean good. he did love it but like he was this also yeah, made him so nervous and like it gave him well the problem is he got he has no supporters just, I just want to put in perspective the comments on his own video like that all the Carl Job fears came in to talk shit on that is 10% of the comments that the Evolution of Dance video has on all time. <laughs> <laughs> that is... <laughs> yeah, 2,300 comments for a guy who... That is 1%, who, sorry. He can Good organically man. pull 200 views, because usually what he does is he talks about Nintendo news, and he sounds really whiny while he's doing it. Like, Nintendo delayed their new Mario game again, and he had a great one where... He he was really mad at Nintendo because they patched Tears of the Kingdom and they patched out the unlimited arrows glitch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and he thought they ruined it because he he has to have cheats to play the game, I guess, even though he's yeah, 45. He it's just it's just pathetic. Like, you're not even good at the games. You're just like a little kid. Like the, the week it came out, he was playing with all the cheats on and thought he was so badass, biting his lip and shit, and zooming around, <laughs> killing every killing all the bosses so fast. Cool, man. He is like the definition of a man child. You put him next to man child in the dictionary. Like he doesn't even he doesn't even have an adult appreciation of video games. He's just oh Mario, yay! Oh, press the buttons, it's so fun. Mario Nintendo, yay! yay. He likes his stuff. I mean, you've seen the background. He likes his stuff. He likes Nintendo. He knows about more than he knows more about Nintendo than anyone else. He Who knows about the stuff that was Mario around when he was a kid. And it's so Zelda cool to be an adult posters. man too and play a single player game and the week you it comes out you're like you're googling cheats for it cheats. Fucking loser <laughs> yeah. like what well, his homepage is still cheatcc.com <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah it's like outlaw doing video walkthroughs on level uh, one of man. portal it's like why are you even playing the game outlaw's video this walkthroughs fun? are so funny no he's never had fun when it's, he yeah did... it's really like, I, it's embarrassing I don't know if he's done Tears of the Kingdom, but when he was, no, he's like, demanding playing, someone buy it for him. Yeah, of course. When he was playing Breath <laughs> of the Wild, like in some of those shrines, like they're a little tricky because you have to like it doesn't really <laughs> tell you how to do anything. And like some of the ones where you're just like, oh, I need to like use ice there. Like, oh, OK, like it took me a while. Some of them stumped me. But him, he's getting tricked on the ones that are just like, oh, like put the ball in the hole. <laughs> And he's just like, mm, uh, I don't know how to do that. And then just falling off the edge, dying in a shrine with like, he has like 15 hearts somehow and like just dies <laughs> falling 15 <laughs> fucking times. <laughs> fucking crazy. It, he just, I mean, they don't know how to play video games without cheats. They legitimately have no idea how to beat a game. I don't think they've ever beaten a game like without yeah. cheats or without looking up like what exactly to do or having someone else beat the point. I feel like that's the, the Van Buren type guy as a gamer where you just buy shit and never play it and don't even attempt to beat it. Yes. Or you I'll have get, like an I'll, older I'll brother get, do it for you. Yeah, I'll get you, back to this. You play through like level one and you think, oh, damn, this is easy. It's so good. And then like level two or three comes. You're like, this is so much harder. This game's impossible. Yeah, this, I'm just going to do level one again. This game stinks. <laughs> You jump yeah, on the Goomba, like, you get the question mark block, it's so easy, then you just start over. It's so easy, you never have to die. Back in the day, there was something for gamers like that, and that was the PlayStation mm -hmm. Magazine demo discs. <laughs> That's true. Every month. <laughs> a little bit. Ooh, just a little bit. A little Ooh, taste. <laughs> the yep, good part yeah. of this game. Level one, there's no lava, there's no spikes. 
Yeah, because then you could lie as a kid and say, I beat the game. I beat that game. I beat Spyro the demo. Dragon. I beat it. Spiral. I beat it. It was spiral. so easy. I beat spiral. spiral so quickly. It was like an hour. Call him Spiral the Dragon. It was such a good dumb kid thing, too. <laughs> yeah, I beat Spiral. Yo, who I do you think, think would win in a fight? Spiral or Crash Bandicoot? I just think video game companies need... Crash to, Bandit. They need to <laughs> bow down to these gamers and make games easier, but also for adults. I agree. And they need to they need to put the cheats back into the game, but also you get all of the achievements, and you also get like you know a ton of views, mm -hmm. and you get to be famous too. We need to switch it. on the back of our controllers, like on the Xbox controller. That's just cheats on, yeah. <laughs> on <laughs> and off. Yeah, bring Game we, Shark back. Game we need to bring it, bring unlimited it back. ammo, Let's... unlimited lives. You mm -hmm. explore the entire map instantly. <laughs> uh, people think you're really it's, cool it's... for knowing about it. People think people are everybody you meet is impressed that you know mm -hmm. about Nintendo Switch, mm -hmm. and that you, you all of your clothes are Nintendo Switch and Mario, and you tell mm -hmm. everyone that you've heard of Mario everywhere you, you go. Get, every time you walk into a restaurant wearing like the Triforce on a T-shirt, you get a standing ovation. Yeah, a woman comes up and sucks your dick. <laughs> Guy that's like outlaw age and shape, dressed vaguely like Ash Ketchum, seeing if anyone notices. <laughs> <laughs> Turns his head around when he walks into the coffee shop. <sighs> <laughs> when, he, when he orders. <laughs> yeah. God Anytime damn. he does something, Ash is so turns cool. around. Ash is kind of like the main hero. I think my masculine icons are Ash Ketchum, Naruto, uh, whoever's in Avatar The Last Airbender, and Jimmy Neutron. Mine is Brock Ketchum. Ash's oh brother. wow! <laughs> yeah, his brother who's asleep. Yeah, that's <laughs> why I didn't find Brock to be that big of a pervert because he was blind. Mm -hmm. He didn't he care what women looked anything. like. Yeah, yeah, he was he just, just horny. Loved women. <laughs> he just yeah, was going off context <laughs> clues. He didn't actually see anything. He was just like, "Oh man, I imagine she's hot." Yep. He just he so heard the sound of their voice and was like, "Okay, now that's sexy." That, that's why he was really into Nurse Joy because she just looked like all the other ones. He didn't have to worry Ray about Charles it. had like <laughs> 20 kids. Okay. He got pussy. You can get a lot of pussy as a blind guy. Yeah, and he had Especially the same... if you're if you're famous, like you're a, a mm -hmm. soul musician or a gym leader. Oh. Mm -hmm. Women will fall all over themselves. Yeah, if but you're he's a soul just, musician he's... or a gym leader. Or both. He's gym one. He's gym one leader. You're not getting he's not it's getting true. In. He's not getting it. Well, he's not people Giovanni. have to go past there. People have to go past there. I know, yeah, plus, but he's not. If, Come on. If you're, it's like having a house between the sorority and the campus. If you have a fire starter, though, and you're going to that first rock gym and you haven't really leveled up any bugs yet, you're get fucked anyway. So good luck. In Pokemon Yellow, it's hard. Because you have to either yellow, you have, yellow, you have to level up Pikachu until he learns, I think, double kick or something or a fighting move. Or you yeah. have to get a Mankey or you have to get a Butterfree and get Confusion. They don't really, it's, it's hard the, when you have an electric starter. Yeah, it's simple. You just have to either tackle, and I think it's uh, I want to say brick break. You learn pretty early, and then you're set. Yeah, I would always play it's, like a... it's it does it is kind of like a learning curve there if you're a kid and you've oh, you don't sure. know the types and stuff. Like if that's your first Pokemon game. Oh, my first playthrough that's ever. What, that was my first Pokemon game. I was the loser. I was the dipshit, was the dipshit kid. It, it was like my first playthrough ever on Blue, and I had the, like the level eighty one Charizard, and my next highest Pokemon was like six. Like, <laughs> just fucking brute forcing it with one Pokemon the whole time. They made it easy to do that. You could do it easily. Yeah. The first copy I got preferable. actually was bugged and I couldn't save it. And so every time, like, in my, we, we bought it and, like, for like three days, I just, like, couldn't save and I couldn't figure it out. And so we had to go return it and get a new copy. <laughs> this is such dog shit. Uh, yeah. I'd but like, so it would just only you show like, new game when you restarted your it. First yeah. Day playing, so you're like, oh, I played for four hours straight. I, yeah, I, I opened up my bicycle and you're like, oh, let me save it. CR yeah. 2032, you open it up, pop it in. It's like a car, uh, car key file. So like I would start, I would start a new game and play through. And then anytime I turned off my Game Boy, I just had to start a new game. And like I did that like three <laughs> yeah. days in a row. And I was like, Mom, you got really good at broken. The, you had the demo. How to go through the grass in the first two routes to Absolutely. minimize the amount of Going through the encounters. forest and like knowing exactly like what Pokemon are in there and when you can catch them. And like just having godly parties, but beating Brock probably like 15 times in three days. That was <laughs> a great... like, I wish I wish I could get past Mount Moon before my Game Boy Pocket dies. That was such a great, uh, great game. Oh, yeah, I mean, absolutely. The, the... Yeah, having to do Mount Moon again, that would suck. I've been playing on I downloaded an emulator onto my uh, fire like tablet 
and I've been playing it. And it's I love playing those ones on an emulator because it's just like you can do everything like quadruple speed. So you don't have to wait. Oh, look <laughs> like, at this cheater, guys. <laughs> yeah. Look, I remember doing silly. that. I used to go back and forth to college on the Amtrak and it would be like yeah. four hours. And I, I have a, a emulator on my laptop and run mm-hmm. it at like 10 times speed and see if I could get from the beginning of the game to the end of the Elite Four before the end of the train ride. It's just so nice because like the game runs so slow and it's such a slog to do yeah, so much really stuff. Is. And so when you can actually like skip through just like all the dialogue and the battle animations. 2x speed it and shit. Yeah. Oh, it's so fun. And so that's just what I've been doing. Like before I go to bed, I'm like, oh, all games just, like, are more fun to go faster, to be honest. Absolutely. I was doing that with a 3DS emulator, too. I was playing uh, Ocarina of Time 3D. Oh, OK, that's a good one. I was just thinking of one more one more Pokemon. Uh for our sponsored Pokemon segments over. Um, thank you, Nintendo. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Nintendo. We love you, Nintendo. You're, <laughs> always handing out, you're always handing out sponsorships to small people. <laughs> Off, you often do that. No, I remember I was on a, like a bus trip out to the East Coast, going to some like sports tournament, Catholic shit out in Connecticut. Mm-hmm. Going to Ch- Cheshire. And uh, there's a rich kid next to me that had the, the GBC when it came out. Game Boy Color. And mm-hmm. I was just, I was like, that looks so fucking amazing. It's beautiful. And I was watching him play Pokemon. And he fucking, he got missing no. And something that I was just told was a lie from other people, the, the missing number Pokemon. Mm-hmm. He was going up and down the shore and he got it. But I remember watching him for an hour, like, try to get it or try to do whatever from, like, memory. And he had the most dog shit morning breath, but all day. <laughs> and I think I attributed it to, he had those... You remember those retainers kids had back in the day that looked like they can get different colors and shit and make their teeth look all fucked up looking? It was a really mm. like early aughts thing, late 90s. I don't remember thing. those. It might have just been these nasty rubber bands too, but either, either way, it'd make your teeth look. And maybe it was not, just green. Not like in the front though. <laughs> like if it they, just had smiled, algae in it. When they smiled big, you'd see it on like the, the sides of their teeth. And it was, okay. it was like they're, they're very, the wider, stretchy rubber bands. Oh, okay. They, yeah, they yeah. get them in. But this kid had red ones, and every time he would fucking like laugh and have his dog shit breath. Luckily, he started eating candy at some point, just a fuckload of it, like tummy <laughs> ache levels. But that made his breath smell better. But then I kept thinking the red shit in his mouth was candy, so I kept being like, God damn, this kid's got a lot of gum. I kept thinking he had, like, bubblicious in his mouth 24-7, and it freaked me out. So I, was so sick of this, I was so sick of his shit breath slash candy breath for this whole time, and I'm like, leaning, but I'm still leaning over watching him, because, like, you know, there's nothing else Yeah, what else, else are you going to do? I don't have a phone yet or anything, there's no internet. And I'm just, I'm leaning over, and I got my fucking face in my shirt. Like, my fucking shirt pulled up like this the entire time. I'll just smell him. It's awesome. His whole party is, like, coughing, wheezing. Bro, uh, we had this, stinky. we had a, the priest that was uh, driving us all out there with that Catholic group, Father Gomez, he's a crazy fucker, a little short Mexican guy. And he took us over the border. I mean, we were all <laughs> kids. We were in a fucking 15 passenger van with 22 people, and he took us over the border to Canada to like go quicker. Like, what the fuck? Can you imagine doing that post 9 mm. 11? Like, yeah, I guess you could do, do that. that. That's like a Sound of Freedom type van to find going across the border. Yeah, you're going to have AR 15 <laughs> shooting out his feet. 22 little boys, and then actually, like, more like 20, 20 little boys, and then one big ass fat one. <laughs> oh, it wasn't me, by the way. Another kid. <laughs> Yeah, I guess I didn't have to get, have a passport when I went to Canada on a field not trip. When, we didn't not leave until after. Many. One of the buses, that was post 9-11. But one of the buses was, in our convoy oh, broke down. Uh, so we were driving, you, like, we split up groups. That's why if, we had uh, Depend how young you were, and if you were with your parents, you could get by with a birth certificate, because that's how I yeah, got Yeah, we had to travel with our birth like, certificate. Yeah, there was some sort of exemption for yeah. minors. If you were I think, young I think enough. shit was a lot different pre-9-11 anyway. Because we went to Niagara Falls when I was, like, 14. I think I was... Yeah, because I was a f- either becoming a freshman or just finish my freshman year and my aunt and uncle had an exchange student from norway come and like they were like oh we want to go see like the u.s and show her the u.s and then so we did like niagara falls and then crossed over the border wow and that's you guys where... have to go waterfall so she can't see in norway <laughs> just kidding uh and that's like, where to see the american the first side i've ever been there and well we did we really saw the american sweet. side and the uh canadian side but that was i think i told the story where my uncle just like do a insisted. horizontal flip on the image insisted we go to hooters for lunch and like oh, i have a picture and yeah. i'm just like hover handing over the girls oh man you should <laughs> bring my, like, back XL, as i should i should find the picture because i have this xl like nice jacket 
a Reggie Bush jersey <laughs> underneath, and then there's like big baggy blue jeans. What year was that? As hell. I'm probably 0405. 2021. Hell yeah. <laughs> Glory days. I went to a Hooters on my way down to the Outer Banks on vacation one time, and my sister took a picture of me and my buddy with the Hooters waitress. And I forget who I was showing the picture to, but it was like, it was out here in Denver. They're like, I think I went to college with that girl. And they, they actually, like, went to school with this girl in, like, Virginia. Like, <laughs> couldn't have been a very good college. That's awesome. That kind of makes sense, though. Denver became, like, a oh, yeah. very migratory here. city mm-hmm. destination. I mean, hell, yeah, a lot of people there. from out of town. My brother's oh, yeah. Jeff. My brother's Andrew. <laughs> SM Vlogs was there. Yes. Well, he moved that's... there and then moved back. <laughs> okay, but he's a I fucking... I don't know for what or why. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's an exemption. Bro. Anytime I see that motherfucker's stream linked, some I mean one out of the, one out of ten times I'll see it linked to like SM Vlogs Live. I'm like I don't care. Yeah, but I know. <laughs> sometimes I click it because I'm like whatever. I, I click it to see what the, what that dipshit's up to. See if he's drinking his three dollar stars and stripes orange soda warm from the floor. Anyway, every single time I've clicked it in the past week, right when the sound loads, because I have Twitch Turbo, so I never have ads. Shit mm-hmm. loads, and right when the sound kicks on, I hear him go. <laughs> Just <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Sniffles. Holy yeah. fuck, man! Fix that. It's so no. Cool. He'll just ignore it. Yeah, ignore he'll it the ignore rest it. of his life. You're not allowed to sit there on stream and have sniffles unless someone died. And also, like, but like, man, <laughs> blow your nose, mute your mic, don't go live exactly. for a week. Like, take a week mm-hmm. off. It's fine. No one's watching, anyways. It's easy to sniffle between your mutes too. It's not hard. Um, I got sick end of May and like I had a cough for an entire month and I had to go on an inhaler and I like just have to use an inhaler because my asthma anytime I get sick like my cough just won't go away and like we're recording and stuff and I'm coughing and I'm like I mute my mic like I, yeah. I, I don't do that stuff on mic. I tried to tell him how to set up a noise gate and someone oh, I else tried to explain it to him like people have been so nice trying to tell him how to how to set this shit up how to get it so it's not clipping and it's not like recording your fan the entire time and he couldn't figure it out he just couldn't do it it's because he'll pull up like the reddit post telling him how to do whatever and like i know all the letters start fucking creeping around the page like when you have the flu and you're trying to read and you're like <laughs> i have a fever i need to, i need to go to sleep so, that's, that's oh. so what ha- oh. what needs to happen is you have to go to his house and then do it and then be like don't fucking touch a thing don't touch it! Alright, now you can stream. And then, of course, like, the next time after that, he's gonna go live and he's gonna be all <laughs> fucked up again. <laughs> and you're like, what'd you do? He's like, oh? Huh? I just have a name for him. Vlogs PM. Because all he does is drink Tylenol <laughs> PM. <laughs> yeah, he's gotta be benzoed out. He's I don't know how his dad doesn't make him get a job. Like, there are jobs that he could get today. His dad forgot that he's in the basement. And he's just not being made to do it for <laughs> it some reason. If he's not Ben's out, but he's Ben drilled out. <laughs> he's just, <always> like <laughs> just seeing dream. fucking spiders. Yeah, the spiders over NBA 2K. I like the old one without the spiders. Oh, I hate Here's the spiders in this game. <laughs> <laughs> they keep coming out of the, the graphics screen. all the way down, fair. but the spiders are so realistic still. Oh, my man. theory, my theory is that his dad has forgot that he's in the basement and he's live. He goes live when his dad's sleeping and he leaves the house to go get stars and stripe soda when his dad's at work. So his dad just has no idea he's down there. Fuck. He thinks it's haunted. I can just imagine him. I can imagine seeing him walking home too with his three liter of soda just in his hand and just swiping on Tinder on everybody in the <laughs> thousand mile radius in his other hand. He's so dope. No Check bag, he got like, what a he cool got like three liters, of, three three liters, no bag, just holding them. Yeah, he goes to Dollar General and he has one dollar in his hand and he's got his three liter, <laughs> he sees his three liter and he sees a box of tissues and he grabs the soda. <laughs> <laughs> it's the worst soda that you could purchase in America. I don't think there's worse soda. It's right, like there's if, not. If, he, if, he's, if he was in an ARPG, Vlogs SM and it, Vlogs PM in an ARPG, he has fully broken weapons and armor. And he goes to the vendor, and the vendor's selling an orange soda for as much gold as he has left. And he just <laughs> buys that and sits down in the town and just drinks it. That's him yeah. in an RPG. The it's like a vendor drunk. that sells, uh, <laughs> they sell a new graphics card for $150. <laughs> they sell tissues. They sell a, a job application. <laughs> They're all the same price. He goes to the, he goes to the dollar store with a dollar and then just hopes there's enough change. In the uh, take a penny, leave a penny, where he can, like, cover the tax. 
I love that he's bought like thirty two hundred dollars worth of monitors and computers, Ugh. but has not up- updated that one graphics card. It's been fucking. <laughs> it's because he keeps selling his shit and getting new it's been stuff. Been transplanted in and out. Yeah, it does resell though. He's, and they get a better computer, and he resold it so you can uh, buy a <laughs> that vertical <wrestling> monitor, <laughs> buy wrestling pills. hat, a bloodline hat, Blood- yeah, yeah. wrestling merch, and a bunch of pills. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 <laughs> Living with my parents, filling my room with wrestling merch every time I get money. I'm yeah. pissed. I don't even know yeah. if a wrestling guy says yeah like that. But wasn't there already a wrestling guy that says yes? That's bullshit. Yeah, there was. I'm sure there was. Yeah, LA Knight. Fuck LA Knight. Alright, that's enough wrestling talk. Let's keep going. <laughs> I looked well, it up because I was going to try and not, tell him. We're not... We're, me not that type of podcast. <laughs> <laughs> this, is a, this is the only leftist wrestling podcast. Uh, mm-hmm. That's true. Somebody we're the only those. we're the only leftists that like wrestling. <laughs> it's true. Fucking... I just think it's awesome. I think well, he needs another leftist monitor. then. Uh, MMA. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, All I think the if he MMA just gets guys are leftists. <laughs> if he just gets one more monitor after he punches through it, I think that'll do it for him. Or if he interviews a wrestling guy and goes. <laughs> 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 I think that will make people over the, overlook the fact that he clearly doesn't care about anything he's doing. It's dope that his hat's 35 bucks. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, wrestling guys spend a lot on merch. They do. The just merch, giving money to Vince McMahon. The merch is just expensive and it's the shittiest quality. I remember having friends. I didn't have back to school clothes because homeschooled, so they'd just be back mm-hmm. to home. Yeah. <laughs> I just got hand-me-downs, but it was fine. Getting hand-me-downs from someone 15 months older really isn't that big of a deal. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but... I had friends where, like, they're back to school shopping. My friend Joey, shout out. His back to school clothes included, like, a fucking NWO Sting shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. Hell yeah. That's so I'm cool. jealous because my back to school shopping, because I went to Catholic school, was going to Old Navy and getting white polos Ooh, and, like, oh blue, God, blue slacks and I be like, all right. There was a point in my shit. life when I was a teenager <laughs> where, like, I sort of craved that, like, I, I wanted to go to, like, a Catholic school. I wanted, like, the uniform type deal. Because mm-hmm. I was like, That'll, that's how I'll be successful one day. Because right, <laughs> uh, right now I'm just a lazy skateboarding bum. I'm listening to Kid Rock with Jeff Jacks, and he's a bad kid. <laughs> <laughs> he's not so bad. Jeff Jacks is actually a nice kid, but he's the type of kid, he was too nice. Mm-hmm. And if you, you were looking at anything at his house, whether it was his or his older brothers or his parents, you'd go, want to buy it? Like, you can't just... Can't just sell everything. The bazaar. That guy runs the bazaar. <laughs> he did. They lived at the end of this twisty dirt road. They did have a little bazaar, but it was cool because I can go in there and there'd be a Lego set that he just got like a month before, and he'd be like six bucks. I'm like way cheaper than what it's at the store. So thank you, man. Sir, you need to check sure. your prices. <laughs> oh man, I wonder how that business went for him, losing all that money. It's pretty good. He's still well, doing he it. He runs it. a consignment yeah. shop. He, one of those people who runs a consignment shop that opens up on Main Street in your your hometown. <laughs> And then it's gone a month later. He would be like, you guys want to come to my house? Because he lived right on the edge of the the railroad tracks and then of like 800 square miles of state land, just the basin reserve. So it was really fun to play on. He's like, you guys want to come over and go across the tracks and paintball each other? <laughs> and we were like, of course we do, but we don't have guns. And he's like, you could rent some from me. <laughs> he, got <laughs> all, he got all this gear lined up and shit. I'm like, hey. A great brain ass. But also, That's not like, bad. He I wonder what that guy we were, is up to. We were to. kids, so he's like, he, he would have to wait till... Oh, he paints cars now. I know what he does. He, he has like a car painting shop. But, that would um, make sense. That's that's like the adult version being his, like, yeah, I can paint family, your car for 800 bucks. His family did that anyway, I think. they, were, they had, His dad had one of those like old Camaros, but it had that uh, type of paint that was like beetle wings. Like when it drove by, it was like eight different colors. Mm-hmm. They look cool. Oh, damn. I like those. They did that type of shit. But, um... It's actually made out of beetle wings, too. They, they have to kill a lot of They bugs. weren't one of those families that was well off. They were like white trash rich, where they had a modest house, but a lot of toys. Mm-hmm. Their, they spent all their shit on fun. Like, they'd buy a fucking... They'd have a car. All their family cars were like 1978s in 1998, but their quads were like 1999. <laughs> <laughs> that's so sick. They were the toy family. The family yeah. that spent all their money on toys. Yep. Well, that wasn't a good time to really splurge on real estate. But better in than hindsight, <laughs> like having a modest house in like the early 2000s. Jeff would just do like IOUs and be like, when it snows, you could shovel someone's driveway and pay me. It's like, all right, man, deal. People should do that for free. <laughs> Kids should do it for free. 
Nope. <laughs> kids should be and, why aren't kids doing this for free, Mark? They should they should come no. shovel my driveway for free, even though every time they see me, I'm just yelling at them. I don't I think we discussed it on stream once, but did you guys ever go around and shovel uh no, like desperate for no. money in the winter? No, no. because no. I we, did the show. By the time like I mean I'm just lazy and I did I didn't want to do my own. Yeah, you guys had so. better games than us, I think me and my brothers. I just share games more too, though. So if it wasn't anywhere near my turn yeah. to play something, fuck it. Because well, I would go out and play in the snow, but then like, because the first house, every house we lived in had a super long driveway. Like the True. house, my, I, the house my parents live in now has the shortest driveway, but it's like super wide. It's like you could fit like two and a half cars, kind of like yeah. In it. And so it was my just neighbor such at a the pain time was ass. more similar to how. Like not to dox, but it's like your your current situation, Tom. Like super easy to. But you like, have to pay life. someone to come and plow. So the the first house was like we had the garage all the way in the back, and we didn't have a big house. We had kind of a small plot of land, but it was big to me at the time when I was like in fifth grade. But oh, the yeah. garage was all the way in the back, so you have half the like backyard is like driveway, and then you have this long driveway that goes out of the street. So I would have to shovel that. And then, like, my dad bought, like, a snow, like, a, an electric snow plow. And so he was like, all right, no more snow shovel. And I was like, all right, great. And then that broke, like, three uses in. And so yeah. we had to go back electric and shovel snow- everything. I'll get around to fixing when it's warm out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the so the snow blower broke. And then, like, so it's me and my brother out there doing that. And, like, he was a year younger. And, like, so it was just mostly me pushing. So I had to do that the whole time. And then I'm like, I'm not fucking doing anybody yeah, let me else. Tell you, <laughs> let me tell you, man. I had six brothers, and it was only me, my older brother, and Andrew shoveling ever. Yeah. <laughs> Those little fuckers didn't do anything. They're like, oh, you're, you're, the, you're getting older and stronger, brother. Thank you. <laughs> there was, yeah, I had to shovel because my dad has a bad back, and I only have a sister. My dad was an avid snowblower guy, so we always had a snowblower. So mm-hmm. it was always kind of cool oh, to do yeah. it. Fuck yeah. and then my dad has one, year, one now. Yeah, one year my grandpa got him like this enclosure that you attach to it, and you know has like clear plastic so mm-hmm. the snow doesn't blow into. You. And my dad was like kind of pissed. He's like, "God damn it! All the neighbors are gonna think I'm a pussy. <laughs> like, I gotta use it, or else he's gonna think I don't like it." <laughs> no, Michigan. I'm sure you guys had have had guys like this too, but Michigan has a, such a surplus of guys in uh the suburbs, especially, but kind of all over where. They, they'll get really into their snow removal toys, whether it's a plow or a plow on their mm. quad or their snowblower. Mm-hmm. And by the mm-hmm. time you even wake up on a snow day, he's there, like doing everyone's driveway like, hey. Yeah. Like yeah. The fucking That's what Jeremy f- Renner wanted to be. Phil Hartman's character <laughs> from uh, Jingle All the Way <laughs> style. We up I, at 5 a.m. just doing that shit. I went to school with a kid whose dad like was a snow plow that was just like attached to his truck he was himself. a snow plow yeah he was a snow plow <laughs> well, was he like so he was, just, was half his body like a car well, he was he, a, he was a half it was like axle situation from oh okay <laughs> now you're talking my tom, language tom, tom just means he put a plow on his truck but he's a snow bowl he goes around <laughs> and fucks people's wives in the winter when the other bulls don't want to it's too cold <laughs> he has a lot of hair i'm a snow body. bunny yeah so he would he <laughs> yeah, would just do <laughs> He would do like our streets were like free, and so no, nobody like had to go come and like do our streets. So it was kind of nice. That's, yeah, that, but, like I didn't drive awesome. at the time, but like because he Koa, would just he would leave his house and like do it, and then like go do his like normal route shit. Koa's street that had to be removed with a caterpillar this past winter after like the yeah. sixty-six inch snowfall. Like the, even the fucking pickup trucks, they're like, we can't do shit over there yet. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that was insane. Actual construction equipment used to fuck. It's the. The ones they use on the freeway, basically, but like mm-hmm. even taller wheels, insane. Yeah, like it's that just was wild. It's crazy. Do you know what I was thinking of the other day? The day, what was the what was the the shuttle that exploded in two thousand three? That was the Challenger. Columbia, I or think Columbia. Columbia, was Columbia yeah, Challenger was eighties. Columbia, the one that blew up in two thousand three. Mm-hmm. Um, because they put a the, teacher on it, and she made the astronauts do homework. Yeah, <laughs> her tits hit all the. They jiggled all the buttons. Stupid teacher <laughs> probably grounded them from flying <laughs> Sorry, the astronaut really disrespectful. Thing. Rest in peace. But um, uh, I was watching the coverage of that recently in like the Houston. I love watching the mission controls from disasters because it's like surreal seeing mm-hmm. everybody's fucking mm-hmm. L's. Well, the re- the mood really gets <laughs> killed in those, man. <laughs> Real vibe killer. What happened? Got coming back in from the bathroom. What happened? <laughs> Zipping your shit up and pee all over your fingers. What I miss? Uh, <laughs> the guy being like awkward. <laughs> Where'd it go? <laughs> oh, so yeah, that happened. Coming back in. What did you guys do that morning? We got a, a that was early February two thousand three, and I was I was but a young fourteen year old lad, and I uh, I was like I need I need to make some money. I need to go to Great Lakes Crossing and buy some sunglasses and whatnot. And uh, 
you know, typical ninth grade shit. And uh, mm-hmm. I need some over the ear dark blue Sony <laughs> earbuds from, <laughs> from Walmart, for like twelve ninety nine until I break them again. And uh, I just started going around. We had like eight inches of snow falling an hour. I go, was going around knocking on doors. And most people, I was only charging 20 bucks per driveway, basically, like flat rate. Mm-hmm. It was snowing hard. And most people were like so happy to see like a kid walk around doing it. They were like, I'll give you 50. I came home that day with like 400 bucks in like three hours. I did a really shitty job, though, at some of their houses, and they never asked me again. I'm like, well, hope your car's thinner than this. <laughs> like a mini Sherlock. They'd be like, you get my driveway or my sidewalk too, and just get do like one little push line through it. Like, yeah. <laughs> your ass is tiptoeing through there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like the, they call me the Norse traveler. I come and I, I, I say I'm going <laughs> to shovel your snow, and I do one shovel, and then I leave. I take off the the thinnest layer off the top, and all right, I did it. You can see. Then it's I lower. go back to the North Pole where I live. Oh, I remember one lady too, um, because I only I made like three hundred something. One lady gave me a hundred dollars because I fucking brought her dog home by reading the tag mm. and walking him home like a half mile because he was running around in the snow like a dumbass. And she gave me a hundred bucks. Damn, that was nice. that was back in the nice early two thousands when everyone still had cash in their wallets all the time. Yeah, way easier to do that shit as a kid. Now you have to ask the old lady to Venmo you. When you find your dog. I'd have one of those little uh, square pay things the homeless people have. Pull it out. <laughs> dude, those people are scamming, dude. <laughs> They're scammers. God, I hate those videos. Yeah, how do you have an iPhone 5, dude, if you're homeless? That Tyler Oliveira guy used to make better videos, and he had one video pop off that was like, I went to the city that allows drug use, which is just like safe houses in Portland, basically. Mm-hmm. Like, That's clean. all of them now. Yeah, room. That's all of them now. He, you know, the views popped off on that, because people, they, people have poverty porn. They yeah, love, of course they do. They love it. Those videos do amazing. And the, you guys know how I feel about those guys. And uh, all his videos have gone so mm. downhill dog shit since then. I'm just, I went to the most dangerous part. It's like, shut the fuck up. Mm-hmm. But like, it, I mean, all those, like people love the. it's just so easy to blame the poor. Yeah. So people just want to blame the poor. It's the same as like being like, oh, welfare queens. They're taking in all this welfare and they're not working and they're taking more money and they're buying yeah, homes. Lobsters. It's like, I like that. They get like $20,000 a year, you moron. That one bald guy, Peter Santanello, he's the one guy I like. And even he's like still such a, he's the best out of all those guys that really do that type of stuff because mm-hmm. he really brings the human part out of it. And he doesn't, but he's still such a liberal. How he, he'll just like right now, he's been doing, he lived in like Appalachia for like three months or something, and he has a ton of videos coming out. It's been a whole series. It's been great. They're like hour long videos. It's been really good shit. And uh, he's, he has important stuff too. Like, I noticed you have the Confederate flag on your wallet. What does that mean to you? Just asking locals like that. And that's stuff that I'd actually want him to ask and not avoid because it's like the elephant in the room, whatever, because mm-hmm. he's like a more woke guy. But then he's also like, so pretty much everyone here is just pretty much born into a methed up family, like saying they all do meth. Like, it's such like a lib, th- like, and then the guy basically explained like, actually, it wasn't meth around here. It was oxycontin. I was the first person in the county prescribed it. Blah blah blah. Then I started dealing it, mm-hmm. and like straight up right there, flipped it and showed like, no, this is all the Sacklers' fault once again. It was uh, yeah, he was right on the edge of the Ohio Kentucky border too. Mm-hmm. He didn't mention this in his video, but one of those counties near there, like just to put it in perspective, that's in the USA, and there's one of the counties where eighty percent of the homes haven't had running water since nineteen eighty three. It is sucks fucking so crazy. Bad. Like once yeah. one of the once one of the coal mines around there dried up and the industry left that that part of town, big companies they didn't never even fix the water and shit. Same. Yeah, it was a company towns. They didn't give a shit. They didn't give a shit no. about the longevity. The company situation just used the people up and just let, left them out to dry when the they but those people stopped are, being profitable. They're the ones using all of our money. We need to I know cut. Like, we need to cut care. That's basically been the Trillbillies' mission the entire time, but not letting those people be forgotten is like so important. It's crazy. Yeah. Cause like, I mean, just nobody gives a shit about them. Nobody. And like, I don't know. It just, of course they have their bad eggs, but mad. man, there's racist people living in the most woke cities in America, as we know. Yeah. I like, mean, it's like, I know they're like, they say some of them will just say awful shit, but they're also just like in this awful environment. If of I'm going to blame gonna anything be... on environment and ignorance though, it's going to be that as well. Shit. Yeah. Those people are also everywhere. But, yeah. Like, that also... is, it's been a long time since that was like an Appalachian thing. Like people, on pills everywhere and like that's all around the country that's true. everywhere true i'm just talking about because of the series putting like a spotlight on it which yeah is, of course it's good uh you guys know how i feel about the shittiest parts of america you still gotta find the nice the nice parts of it 
I love it. Yeah, some of the most beautiful places, like the Appalachian, West Virginia. There may be one day in the mm-hmm. near future, once mm-hmm. my girlfriend's done with zookeeper school, she may end up at Toledo Zoo, and I may end up living in Toledo. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> no. I would actually not mind living just across the border either. No, I'd be Still fine. in Michigan. Yeah. Closer to Cedar Point. Hey, Ooh, there you go. <laughs> I like Toledo. You know what's great about Toledo? I always say, Toledo's a Taco Bell testing city. They are. So if you ever they go got everything there, early. Stop at TB. And they also have stuff that you'll just never see anywhere. It doesn't make it out of there. Mm-hmm. They have like test desserts there all the time and shit. It's cool. My friends that all went to Toledo got to try everything like super early. Like yeah, I remember when I, was seeing, when I was seeing Circus Survive when they released Blue Sky Noise in 2011 at JJ's, which one of the last venues that didn't have a stage. It was just a floor, which was so sick. And uh, uh, we went to Taco Bell that day. And I didn't know anything about anything happening. And it was a year before the Doritos Locos mm-hmm. Taco came out. And I posted a picture of those and a picture of my Baja Blast Freeze because mm-hmm. that was being tested and that didn't come out for eight more months either. And I remember the two pictures I posted with my file extension were on 4chan for the next like year of people making like bait posts being like, just got this because I posted <laughs> on 4chan myself. <laughs> it's so funny. So funny to think about now like people post, were posting it over and over like it was theirs and then I had to be like, no, it was really mine. I had like a picture of me with it to show my friends like, no, these are mine. <laughs> and, uh, well, how do I, I know remember- that's you? I remember my one friend, one of my friends that was with us, had a fucking, he had two Doritos Locos tacos in his pocket for the entire show, because he like, <laughs> walked back there from Taco Bell, because he wanted to bring it home to his brother, and his brother was so grateful, eating these fucking, like, <laughs> nine-hour-old sweat-covered Dorito. tacos. Like, we, surely we could have picked some up after the show, yeah. but nah, they're expensive, they're like a dollar nineteen. Didn't think about it. Well, we don't, wanna, we don't want to, we don't want to stop by. What a great day, though. Way. That was also when my friend was coming home, and it's hard to explain, but Detroit has a lot of these roads that are very well known and they're crossroads, but some of the stretches of them are between parts of the freeway. It's weird, but it's easy to get off there. Then all of a sudden you're in the hood and like parts where just the power flickers randomly and shit. Like a, the bad neighborhood on Hey Arnold. I remember I woke up from like sleeping and my friend's like, where the fuck are we? And I'm like, we're just like sort of downtown still. Just go up this road. You can go all the way. He's like, really? All the way? On this road only? He was... It fucking blew his mind. It was really funny. It was, it was uh, he thought he was lost, but he was on the right road and in, in a scary part of town. You know, yeah, I sold my are. soul at the crossroads to get unlost because I was lost. And yeah. now I kind of regret it because I could have used GPS. But I just, oh. I sold my soul to ask the devil where I was. Oh, I'll meet you there. You sold it to the devil? Yeah, the only one I could yeah and he said go that way. And it was kind of, I don't know. Oh, well, that the only other crossroads reference I know is wow. I'm sorry. By the way, official hardcore WoW server is coming back in three weeks. Yeah, there's a point They're on releasing it. in three it's weeks. Hardcore. Yeah. That's what it means. You're allowed to. <laughs> We're going to, you're allowed to talk about. You're allowed to cuss on there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the avatars fuck each other. Everyone's just running around going, fuck, fuck, <laughs> fuck. It's like Second Life. Yeah, you're allowed you to be racist. You can do pretty much whatever. <laughs> hey, I thought this was hardcore. Why'd I get banned for racism? <laughs> 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 no, it's going to be funny, though, because WoW server is DC all the time and it's permadeath. <laughs> Permadeath, mm. no appeal. I mean, it's like Diablo. Yeah. If you die on Diablo, die. whether it's the server issue or your power, whatever, uh, sorry. Well, to me, no appeal, that pretty much says it. It has no appeal to me. Yep, it's like, in a, it's like how the Italian monkey ordered his banana. No appeal. Actually, wait a minute. Are there cheats? Pretty good. Ooh. For what? For, For hardcore. hardcore, wow. Yeah, okay. That's there a, should that's be. A, that's actually a funny issue. I just want some cheat codes. <laughs> well, here's the big thing in, in WoW uh, that's always been a bad thing, especially when Classic came back, is gold farming is a huge industry there. As you know, Steve Bannon used to run a gold farm. He used mm-hmm. to fund one, and, uh, which is one of the funniest Trump facts. Now he runs a gallstone farm. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> now he runs a toilet clogging factory. But he, that shit got really bad again. It's still bad. And while they sort of fixed it on the regular Classic right now, because they added the WoW tokens, which is just how they balance the economy, because now you can buy game time with gold and game. Mm-hmm. And gold farmers kind of lost their edge, because you can also buy tokens with real money and sell that in-game for gold. So you don't really have to buy illegally anymore and risk your account getting banned. You can basically legally buy gold. And uh, yeah, yeah, RuneScape's got something like that too. And they don't have that in um, the hardcore server, though. And people are worried about the gold. Well, people are sort of worried about it. But if you die, all bots die over and over on their way to level 60. They're yeah. automated. If you die, you're 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 done. Yeah, like it's it's a whole different game. The but gold goes now away. Now people are fly hacking. 
Well, you're, you just can't res or anything. On the on the new hardcore servers, it's permadeath. Like, you click release spirit, and you're only a ghost. You have you can't access anything, and you got to make your new, your new character. So that's deflationary in the economy. Yeah, because exactly. that that gold is being locked up. Which is also funny because that that is the case. You can't. There's no way to get that. So say you have a bunch of characters on hardcore, but your fucking your gold whale character <laughs> dies. Like someone brings a fucking an elite to the city while you're standing by the mailbox and you just get stomped. <laughs> All your gold's <laughs> gone too. There's just no way to get it. So it's gonna be funny. It's gonna be very dramatic. It'll be good content. Oh, there's also they added a way to opt into PvP in this one. So you can duel to the death. So if there's a big rivalry on the server, they can straight up say one v one me, and whoever wins, that other guy's just dead. He can't come back. So that's gonna be good streamer content too. Yeah. They've already awesome. on the test realm they were doing like the permadeath duel tournaments for like Fifteen hundred bucks is hilarious. Can you use Game Genie? Yeah, you use Game Shark, Game you Genie. Should be able to oh, use okay. Game, Game Shark facts. Well, because here's the thing: it's that Pirate sounds Z. hard. <laughs> that sounds too hard. It does sound really hard. I want to play. I want to be easy, but also like be the best at it, right? So yeah, I just need to cheat. Well, there's always uh, retail where you can cheat. No, I'm just kidding. Retail is probably harder to <laughs> cheat. Well, for those of you that want an easier game. Uh, I don't think there is any easier. It's World of Warcraft. That's it. <laughs> Can't really insult that. It's true. Very true. Well, let me look it up. World of Warcraft on cheat. I think it's CC. pretty hard. Com. World of it's Warcraft hard to on download. Nintendo Switch. It's not hard to download if you're an adult. No, because it, shout, it takes a shout long out. Time. I, I still realize because I'm like, oh, I'm going to have to resub to WoW, but no, I don't. I have years of free WoW now from all those codes that guy <laughs> gave me. <laughs> <laughs> he gave you the cheat codes, dude. He literally that's, did. That's a cheat code, yeah. They're yeah, legit, those are though. the cheat codes. Like, Blizzard employees get friend and family codes for, like, new games and, like, subscription time and stuff so that their homies never have to pay for shit. If you buy V-Bucks, you're cheating. True. By the way... It's true. cheating. You have to unlock them. Nice collab today with uh, Ralph Lauren on <laughs> Fortnite. I saw really? that, that you shared the yeah, that, that Fortnite Formula polo. One. <laughs> Formula, Formula One, one suits. outfits. They, they look sick, though. They look nice. I put them in the... Uh, wait, Gotta dress up... The, Oh, gotta yeah, dress up the, your doll. Put him in this, this chat on our <laughs> Dress call, up your Alex. toy in the game. I thought it was LeBron in it at first. Is it the LeBron model in it, actually? It looks just like it. it looks a little like I couldn't him. tell you. Same, like, beard and shit. I mean, how different is LeBron gonna look from the other guys in Fortnite, I guess? Those are cool skins. Yeah, they look good. Anyway, thanks for Fortnite, for the sponsor. Thanks for uh, <laughs> <laughs> Pokemon. Thank you for... Uh, Game Freak. Yeah, check out Epic Games. Mm. Check out Game Freak. Everyone, Pokemon Go to CheatCC.com and download some cheats. Fuck, I, was I wonder what it. Pokemon Go is like now. I still play it. still playing it. Tom you still, still play it. Yeah, I still yeah. play it. It's fine. It's the same. We, talk, we were like, talking about this somewhat like, recently, but it's... Uh, I was watching a streamer play with like four tablets the other day, and I was like... If you try to fun. get too deep into it, it's like frustrating because a lot of the mechanics are like meant to make you pay. But if you just play it at a surface level, it's fun because they have... Up to, I think, Sword and Shield. Like, there's some Pokemon from Sword and Shield. It. So there's seven generations now of wow. like Pokemon. Been, so there's a I ton of I haven't logged there. in in seven years. Because I was, I mean, I just go for my walks, and I walk, like, I was about to five say, it miles makes, a day. It makes your walk so like, like a quest. Yeah, exactly. So it's just like, That's when I was so like, cool. I was bored one day, and I was just like, well, let me just, like, see what Pokemon Go looks like. And then, like, all these new Pokemon show up, and I was like, oh, that's kind of sick. So it's yeah. much better than it was like the first couple years, but yeah, I mean, it's like, one of those things you have to space out. Yeah, mobile but like games you, are always designed like that for you to like check in every day. You're not if supposed you're to trying to do if you're trying to do raids or you're trying to do like certain things, like it's really shit. It, they introduce this like route system where you have to like follow a route, but like there's no real routes. Like it doesn't they just like made it up and like they're like I sure hope like you have something near you, but like if you live. Anywhere other than like downtown, there's no nothing like a route. Europeans have it weird. so nice for a lot of that shit. I had a friend. I have a friend in uh, Germany, a GeoGuessr friend, where that was his main game as it came mm -hmm. out till like last year. And he was, I don't know how hard you can how hard you can really try hard in it, but he's very very. You can try hard. Real. Oh, you can try hard because you can like you can spend money. He also money travels to, like, the world. Get... I think which is with his family often. He's younger. Like and... you can do raids nice. like locally, or you can get like uh, non like you can do them over the internet do they like, like do tournaments and, and shit stuff. for that I, they do meetups i don't know if they do tournaments. oh yeah, you really know what know they have they have like live events there's one coming up like 
in like Osaka, I think, in New York City has one. Where I don't know if it like what it actually means, but like I just love you watching the top can, level like, of games, it. even if I don't play them anymore. Mm -hmm. I love watching yeah. it. I mean, like if you go for walks and like you just you're, it's like it's interesting to do. You guys have that disease too, though. It's like if I look on the recommended on Twitch and I see like a Valorant stream with three hundred thousand viewers because it's like the finals of something. Mm -hmm. I'm like. I will watch this for an hour and a half. Thank you. Yeah. Weird. I I mean, like, because I watch, I watch every Siege esports event, either live or, like, I leave it up so I get the packs, and then, like, while I'm working out, like, I have my TV here, and yeah, I drops just put are it awesome. on. Great idea. And, and then, like, I'll watch a lot of, like, Pokemon stuff, and I'm not as interested in the, like, battles, like, the, but, like, some of the uh, Nuzlocke challenges are interesting to me, where they, like, have to do like, they have to beat the game in, like, the hardest way possible. Yeah, nuzzle with my hubby. With, with two nuzlocks. Man, that would be actually really sick if Tom started streaming some nuzlocks shit. That'd be good content. Oh, it's too it, hard. It's just, you need cheats. I do nuzlocks, but I do them with cheat codes. Yeah, well, that's like, can I do cheat so codes? So I can get yeah. all my Pokemon back and I don't have I to would love to do that. That would have to be, like, something, from... maybe, like, on a 24-hour stream in the future segment or, like, a charity stream, I mean. I could do that with, like, the first couple generations. And then, like, some of the newer ones. I mean, also, yeah, I mean, I mean they're you have easier, to really be but, a Pokemon like, nerd to do the new ones. Yeah, but, like, also, though, like, I don't know. I got a life. <laughs> yeah, but... I got so much going on. You're an underrated gamer, but you are... Oh, that yeah. is true. You're about to have a lot more going on. I mean, I, like I said, I've been playing uh, Leaf Green, and I've also been playing Emerald. i also been playing Crystal on my emulator. And, and I'm go. trying to get, like, a Triton Go, and I'm trying to get my DS emulator to work, too. So I can play Black 2 and White 2. Oh. Yeah. Black, you should try uh, Citra. Citra runs really well. Pearl's the yeah, last one I the played, 3DS but I really loved it. That's the one, I think that's the one I have on it, and, like, it runs, but it just runs so slow. Like, everything just moves at, like, a snail's pace, so I have to, like, try Damn. to find one that runs well. It's like an older Kindle Fire. Not Kindle, but Fire tablet. My girlfriend will pull out the old N64 in the closet, because we have, I don't even know what games we have for but she just it's only Stadium that stays in it. <laughs> <laughs> Stadium's she great. Plays, they put it on she the plays Stadium uh, a lot. They put it on the Switch emulator, the 64 emulator on the Switch. And I was oh, nice. She actually just ago. got rid of her Switch. Well, gave it to my siblings to have yeah. an extra. I can almost emulate Switch. I tried Tears of the Kingdom in an emulator, and I can get it to like 20 frames per second, mm -hmm. which is like roughly what it is on the Switch. But if you have a better graphics card, you can emulate Switch games at 60 frames per second. Dude, I'm like lingual. I can't tell the difference between between 15 and 244. <laughs> no difference. I can't them, tell the difference between my phone and the computer. I'm like lingual. I can't I, tell the difference I, between shit and my fingernails. Yeah, once yeah. I have one of those lingual earbuds full of weed and hit the, <laughs> take a hit off that, it, I could 15 and 244 look the same to me. Yeah, I guess one of the, you shoveled snow for that earbud that you turned brain, into a pipe. My brain rate. That's true. When you're smoking weed rocks, it doesn't it's matter. 2006 <laughs> earbuds like... from Walmart. You just pop <laughs> them open, put a little put an unground nug in it, go, <laughs> ooh, it tastes like burning plastic. <sighs> ooh, that burning plastic taste. That's so good. Oh, I love the fucking, that feels good. I love the <laughs> pot holder. I love the, like a fire retardant pot holder on a hot burner while cooking dinner yesterday, just for a second, but it made like the melting plastic smell. Ooh, and I'm like, beautiful. man, right when dinner's done and now I got this nasty smell in here. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> open the window. I was bitching. I was Lingo. bitching and moaning. Lingo came over and was smoking oh, some on. weed. <laughs> yeah, you want to hit my bowl, man? You get in. It's all fucking melted. <laughs> That's what it looks like, man. It looks, uh, like, plastic it looks like the bowl. rim of that shit's plastic and melty. And it is. The name of the strain is green plastic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oxalate kush. Oxalate <laughs> kush. <laughs> oh, God. Everyone, well, all right, thank, thank you, learns. everybody. Hope thank everyone learned something me. today. Thank you. Subscribe that to the be, Patreon. If this, Patreon. If, this episode, shop for him. if this episode have the chapters on it like a YouTube, it looks so crazy in this one. <laughs> 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 and we talked about this here and this here. And this. Bye. 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 Bye.